When dealing with third-party APIs, you will commonly run into rate limits. It can be difficult to ensure that you are adhering to those rate limits in a typical Ruby application because it needs to be tracked across multiple threads and processes in any decently sized application. Sidekick provides a limiter that makes it easy to ensure rate limits are honored across processes. Let's check it out. We'll build a basic application that makes anonymous requests to the Twitter Trends API. It rate limits us to 75 requests per 15 minutes. We'll start out introducing a gem to make it easy to interact with the API. As we are using the Twitter API, we can create a service in our application. This service will make all the requests, and it will handle the requests for us. Let's call this service Twitter Service. Let's create our client that will connect with the Twitter API. We'll need to set our consumer key and secret and our access token and secret which will be fetched from our environment variables. Let's see which regions are available. We can do this with the trends available method on the Twitter client. Let's test that. Here we can see a list of the available places for trends. Let's create a method to get the trends for a specific region. Let's call that available trends in. And it requires a place. We're going to use the Twitter service API, call our client, and use the trends available method from our client. And then we'll just get the trends for the place that we're interested in. Let's test that. And here we got the list of trends for New York. So there's one request. If we make 74 more requests in the next 15 minutes, We'll hit the limit, and future requests will fail with the following error. Too many requests, rate limit exceeded. As we know all the available trending places, if we check all the trending topics for all the available places, we'll get this error. So let's get the error. We're going to create a method called all trends from all places. We're going to get the available places for trends and get the trends for a specific region using available trends in and pass the place and we'll return an array so basically we'll call the Twitter API way too much and it'll exceed the rate limit let's see that oops All right, let's see it now. Here we go. We just got the rate limit error. We're iterating over all the available places for trends and we're getting all the trends for a specific region, but we're doing that for all the world. There's about 450 places and consequently we get a too many requests error for the API. How do we solve that? We'll build out a quick worker for fetching this request from the Twitter API and logging it out. Sidekick offers various rate limiting strategies. For the Twitter API, we want to use a window as there's a 15 minute sliding window for the rate limiting. We're going to use a Sidekick window limiter and we'll name it Trend Topic Places. That's just a unique name and it's going to make 75 requests in a period of 15 minutes or 900 seconds. It schedules the job and it'll execute the jobs in the appropriate period of time. We can set the error reported by Twitter, which is the too many requests error, as a custom error for our limiter, so it gets treated as a rate limit exception. 
Let's create our worker. And this worker will just use our rate limiter to check for available trends in a place that it's given. And then we'll make a method called all trends from all places using worker that just loops over all of the available places and creates a new worker for each place. We keep iterating over all the available places, but now there's a difference. We're using the worker to handle the requests, and the worker is being limited by the rate limit of the Twitter API. So I actually have to wait 15 minutes so that I'm no longer violating the SLA. Okay, let's fire up the web UI and have a look at what's been scheduled. And here we can see it scheduled all the work. So that's awesome. Using Sidekick, we were able to generate a rate limiting tool so that we can ask Twitter for this information as quickly as we're allowed to, but no quicker. It's important to keep in mind that since this is using Sidekick, it works across processes. That's really hard to do without a tool like this. See you soon!